Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. This reading will go from approximately the 22nd to the 28th of December and is in fact the second last weekly reading before we finish out the decade. And it will be for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning into my channel, for subscribing and supporting me in whatever way you do. Um, I'm most grateful to have you on board here. Please do remember, though, that the readings are only general. They are not uh, always going to resonate with you every time. So make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart or find another reader. There are plenty of great ones here on YouTube. I am using the Cosmic Tarot here and I do have the High Priestess coming out. So the High Priestess is the card of intuition and it looks like yours is going to be very much on point this week. Um, it's about inner knowing. It's about things being revealed. It's about having that, that sense of knowing what's going on here and tuning into it. Could be to do with love because we have the Ace of Cups here. So this is about having some sort of intuition about a brand new start in love. We do have the Three of Swords here, which talks about past hurts and past pain. But it looks to me like you're moving past this here with the Prince of Swords and bringing in a, a beautiful sense of justice for yourself. So some of you may have had some sort of heartbreak in the past that's held you back from having true love. But looks like you're using your intuition now and moving forward on something. Very nice. <laughs> And we have the Tower, which is the card of Scorpio. So we have a couple of cards that represent Scorpio already coming out. The Tower is the card of breaking down old structures to rebuild, letting go of things that no longer serve you in order to bring something new into your world. Beautiful. Okay, so Eight of Wands, something happening quickly. Somebody sending some sort of message in to you, maybe a message of love. Someone communicating something to you that just puts you in this Tower. Oh, I've got a real strong feeling, really strong apprehension came through with that. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo here. Um, a message coming in from someone who's very earthy though. Someone who's been trying to manifest something with you for a while here. Um, there is some, so maybe you're sending messages too because these readings do flip-flop. I have a feeling that you're trying to bring someone in here after perhaps some sort of heartbreak in the past. Maybe you realise that someone you're dealing with now is right for you, but it's taken a little bit of time to understand that this is the right direction for you to move in. So there's a decision, two of swords, whether to move forward on something or whether to move away from something. Two of pentacles, holy dooly, big decision making time here. And four of swords, time to take time out to make a decision. This decision is one of heart over head, head over heart. I feel like you've gone through some sort of hurt and pain in the past, Scorpio, that stopped you moving forward on something. And I'm feeling like you're ready now. It's time for you to move forward. But whatever it is here, it's like you've manifested something, but you haven't been really sure whether it was right for you. There's going to be some sort of epiphany or realisation here that you are travelling in the right direction and you do want what's in front of you, but perhaps you haven't felt that way before because you've been held back. You haven't had trust and faith and perhaps you've been held back by past hurts here. Okay, Queen of Wands coming in. Somebody you see as being very attractive, um, very driven, very passionate, this person could be very self-sufficient. Um, they could be a hard worker, could be a leader in their field. This is who you're dealing with here, male or female. And there's the death card. So you have all three cards that I know of here that represent Scorpio, all in your reading. That says to me that you are really in the right place now. And maybe you've had to do a lot of healing, a lot of... Um, change in the past to bring in this energy something here is making you go after now what you want and look at this ten of cups all your ducks in a row absolute happiness here but you've had a big hurdle to get across here scorpio some sort of hurdle you've had to get past 
but I love this now because you're coming out of this beautiful Scorpio intuition here starting to realize what you want here manifesting in some sort of love after some past heartbreak that's created this sort of world of pain for you it's taken a long time for you to come to this point there's a very strong possibility here that this is very karmic for you and I feel perhaps this pain has led you to have this really strong intuition and really work out what you want in your life. And with this tower here, it says you're now breaking down old structures. You're breaking down these old ideas around what's right for you and what's not right for you, but also being able to release and let go of past pain, which I think is very difficult for you. Um, very strong feeling that you're dealing with someone here that has made you really question whether this is what you want in your life. And I think that's where the karmic justice comes in. You are, have had to really make a decision on how to move forward here. There's been a lot of toing and froing with the energies, trying to make this decision. You may have even doubted it for a while because you feel like you've been in some sort of stalemate energy, taking time out to do some sort of transformation here to really understand what you want. But now you see that this is what you want and you're moving on it big time. So let's have a look at what the oracle has to say. There it is. Happy, happy. Very nice. Look at that. Happy, happy. Okay, this is about joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. So your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment, for you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of you being at one with Spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. And that's what I said. You're trusting your intuition now. You're transforming yourself into what you want and what you see and what you desire rather than just longing for it. Beautiful reading, Scorpio.